All right. Uh, Cocteau Twins. Spangle An EP. Maker. Is this our first ever EP that we're doing right here? Yes. I think, I think so. Our I first so. ever EP. Um, well, why don't you go ahead and run the numbers? Because we've done Treasure by the yep. Cocteau Twins before. Full album. So this is an EP. Yep. So Spangle Maker is, came out in 90, 1984. It is... Uh, the 345th top album of 1984. The... It is the Spangle Maker, by the way, Josh. <laughs> oh, Not the Spangle Maker. The Spangle, Spangle, Maker. Okay, the Spangle these... Maker, yes. Got mm-hmm. it. Uh, the 3,668th album of the 80s. It is their 12th best ranked album out of 17 albums by the Cocteau Twins, with uh, number one being uh, Heaven or Las Vegas, which comes later in the decade. Um, actually comes in 1990 and then treasure is number two which we talked about 1984 this actually comes out right before treasure which we talked about a few weeks ago and do you remember why we put an ep on here by chance i felt like it showed up in one of the countdowns like best ever albums top 100 yeah yeah or maybe one of the um paste or pitchfork lists yeah possibly Mm -hmm. i think it's on that's on one of them yeah yep so it's four. I didn't just dig it. It's not a John's pick. It came in <laughs> no. one of those lists that we had. I'm not yeah. accusing it of being, but it's just... oh, I'm not. I'm not saying that negative. I'm just saying I know the ones I picked as like a John's pick, and yeah. this, because they were often ones that hadn't had another album covered, and I knew Cocteau Twins yep. was going to be covered. Yeah. So, and so. Uh, a brisk uh, 18 minutes and 30 seconds uh, mm-hmm. for this one. It's four tracks, and well, one more of the like tra- three, really. Yeah. Yeah. One of the tracks is. There was a 12-inch version and a 7-inch version back when vinyl uh, had or, more. Also known as the so. John and Josh versions, I think. The 12-inch <laughs> versus the 7-inch. So, yeah, yeah, really. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. And uh, so, um, yeah. And I think it's, you know, the Cocteau Twins in their kind of history or and I guess in a lot of bands' albums, the EPs also played an important role in in music releases and not just the full-length albums. This was, in my mind, definitely a prelude to Treasure. You know, having listened to this after Treasure, it seems like it's a, a run-up. It's very thematically the same, although um, I would say this is this feels a bit lighter in tone. This... I think the one thing of note is this is the first album that came about after um, Simon Raymond joined the band, who was who okay. was, was replacing uh, Will Heggie on the bass, and also he added more multi instruments, uh, you know, to the to the repertoire of the band. Um, this album is still ethereal for sure. I, you still have kind of the um, the singing, the ethereal singing by by Elizabeth Fraser, but back. Does to it a... feel more Scottish to you, like Scottish or mm. Irish, like Upper U- United Kingdomy sounding to me than Treasurer did? I, I felt that. Yeah, interesting. In in what mm-hmm. way can you like put a? a I don't know how to describe. That? It felt like being kind of like in like in a fog more so than even treasure did mm. it, it felt like uh you know on a cliff like overlooking you know a, a cold day with the mist kind of what i you know stereotypically imagine like scotland <laughs> yeah. or yeah you know like gray skies kind of um but not depressing more just sort of like tied to naturey type yeah yeah, so, this, yeah, that, yeah if we're gonna use especially pearly dewdrops, i yes. felt like really yeah I think that was my maybe favorite track on this of mm-hmm. the four. Um, the 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 twelve inch version I think I liked better. The, uh, <laughs> the of course you did. <laughs> this was the uh, if I had to make a com- nature comparison, this is like mist and treasures like fog to me. <laughs> so oh this okay is a, yeah, this is a bit lighter in tone. That's a I great think. comparison. Like That's, a really great comparison. And yeah. I'm not just talking about like the length of the album. I think this mm-hmm. feels. A tad poppier in some ways. I or, I agree. Yep. Yeah, and a tad more accessible, and I think that's what I responded to listening to it. Um, versus, you know, you can go listen to our review of Treasure 
for my thoughts on that. But um, as a result, I think I like this album a bit more. And um, but it's still very similar to Treasure in my mind. Um, there, it's not going to like change my opinion on the Cocteau Twins, but I, d- I did like it a bit more. Uh, the bass also on Spangle Maker that was kind of like started the track, um, the title track, uh, the first track, and that stood out as being uh, kind of making a statement right off the bat with the bass. So, I, and I couldn't really, uh, you know, the between the difference between the twelve inch and the seven inch version. I think that seven inch obviously has to be shorter. I think right. The seven um, inch is remarkably more popular on Spotify too. The seven inch has fifteen million eight hundred seventy thousand plays. The twelve inch has three hundred sixty three thousand. So, wow. Okay. Yeah, the seven inch is speaking to like fifteen times more people <laughs> for some reason. Yeah, weird. Um, I I really it's only like a minute shorter. Um, and I couldn't say, I mean, I should have listened to them back to back, but I can't really remember what the strong difference is between the two. So, well, it's I, I'm, as much as the Cocteau twins can be lo-fi, right? Like yeah. the seven inch version is a little bit more, uh, I guess, modern production, but to, I actually think it hurts the song a little bit. Hmm. Um, to me, I mean, it's a three, to me, this is a three, song ep right and there's a if we're going gold silver bronze pepper tree is probably my favorite song on this album there's just there's so all three songs are kind of like loops right it it basically plays at extended form so really what you're saying is what loop and and sonic structure do i like And, and they build on these loops don't get me wrong but there's a there's an underpining thing that's gonna run for a while right and then toward the end it sort of builds there's a crescendo and then it sort of fades out in a lot of tracks and i think from that structure pepper tree is a very inviting track and i I like how they deviate the the drum sound Mm -hmm. quite a bit at different points uh pearly dew drops is the song that sounds the most what i imagine sort of it sounds like a church's song um to use a a modern band right you know and and i i mean in what universe did churches not listen to these albums like a zillion times? I mean, my God, it's like the influence is clear as I yeah. listen to this. Aren't but they yeah. also from the UK? I can't remember. I've actually uh, churches, seen churches I believe, from live. Ireland. I okay. believe they're yeah. from Ireland. Yeah. And so, and I mean, uh, Cocteau Twins are Scottish, right? Right. So, so yeah, same, well, not same, but same neck of the woods kind sure. of same vibe. Same kind vibe to some degree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, well, I, although I guess Ireland's that's probably like saying United, yeah, <laughs> United States and Canada, right? Like, yeah. it's, uh, same, but it's different, yeah. Well, so, it's all part um, of Great Britain. Let's put it that way. But yeah, Pearly Dewdrops is is like a is more of like a, a an upbeat song. I feel almost like a like an ode to some degree. The mm-hmm. Spangle Maker, the first track, is is I find a little bit more ominous and hissing. Uh, that bass sort of wraps around. It's um, it sounds like it's being recorded in a cave at times, is, is how I described it sonically. Yeah. Um, I, I, as we talked about before, I, I like this type of music as a vibe. Um, I, I experience it completely as a vibe. I will say that unlike Treasure, which sort of blended together into one piece for me, each of these three songs very clearly distinguished themselves from the other. It did not mm-hmm. go track to track and go together. Like I knew when Spangle Maker was done. I knew when Pearly Dewdrops was starting and done. I knew when Pepper Tree came in. Yes. And so I like that about it. And I think because I like that about it, this one stuck with me a little longer than Treasure did. I still think I like Treasure better because I think musically the highs were better and more mm-hmm. varied. Mm-hmm. Um but but like I said, I experienced it as almost like one piece of music with just different things, whereas this was three unique pieces. Yeah. Um, and so from that end, it might even have more re-listenability to me, even though I think Treasure might it is a better album. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that might if be that a reason sense. I liked yeah. it more too. I, I do feel like the three songs are diff- distinct um, and kind of are going for different things. Uh, mm-hmm. So. Yeah, yep. no, I, I would agree. So I, I give this one um, a slight thumbs up um, would be my take. And, and I gave uh, Treasure a comfortable thumbs up. So to give you an idea of context, that's where I would stay. 
Yeah. It, and I'd, st- I'd still say thumbs in the middle for me on, mm-hmm. on this band, but... Um, well, that's a big up from you last time, because last time it was decidedly, I think, down. Oh, thumbs down, yeah. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. yeah, thumbs in the middle well, on this album. Well, what would Matt think of this one? Yep. Uh, he said uh, he thought it was odd that we were covering an EP, but he was interested to hear why we were, so we talked about that. But overall, he liked it. Um, a continuation of their previous album, but uh, still love the vibe. Well, Sounds actually, start of, start of the album, right? Right. right. <laughs> yeah. Ironic, yeah. Uh, start, sounds ahead of its time, and particularly he liked Pearly Dewdrops. I like the way he likes the way yeah. it builds, and he likes how they draw out the final code at the end. Uh, not sure two versions of the song needed to be included, but if you're going to do that, might as well be with a good song like this. Thumbs up. He liked it. There you go. I should also mention the Spangle Maker does sound like early Cure too. Mm. I thought it had some some similarities to. Yep. It's not as dark as anything on pornography, but it has a little bit of the same stuff that, little bit that that seventeen seconds had, um, or wish. So yeah. And Fraser's vocals are still the same here. She's still kind of singing, not with actual lyrics. I didn't pick up anything other than her repeating Spangle Maker, um, a lot or pearly dewdrops i can't remember how i, I mean there's, remember. Uh, there's lyrics but it's not like it's not you know verses it's intelligible right? <laughs> like i can't i couldn't follow along if she were unless i had them in front of me but yeah it's um, not quite enya yeah. you know like it, it, lyrically but it it it's similar in that the the content of the lyrics is less important than how yep. they sound with the the vibe so yes. to speak of the song yeah for sure yeah, and that's so. like for for people that are trying to draw a modern comparison. Real estate and beach house are and churches, I right. think, are ones that would be good starts for you. Although churches has more lyrics, they have you know more verses than than this does. But um, just imagine sort of the spareness of you know beach house and real estate with a little bit of what churches sounds like at times. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, remember, mm-hmm. uh, Cocteau Twins started the dream pop sub- subgenre, essentially. So, uh, Correct. As we yep. said before. Uh, so if you like that vibe, and um, it seems like this oh, band yeah, is... Oh, right yeah, this will go right to your vein. If, you, if, yeah. you're a, if dream pop or, or stuff is, you know, your favorite type of music, you know, this is going to yep. be... Yeah, even if you like uh, some of that, like, 90s trip hoppy you know electronic you know i'm thinking like uh, sneaker pimps right mm. stuff like that like i think this would be up your alley too yeah yeah good that's a good song that's yeah even if we go into too. like portis head or like massive attack and i think there'd be people that you know like that and then could easily dovetail mm-hmm. you know into this music as well so yep yep mm-hmm. oh.